Hello everyone, welcome back to the table. Thank you so much for being here. I'm Cindy with Creations from the Table. Today we're gonna to be making this cute little spring sign with this bunny and the carrots, and we're gonna show step-by-step step how to make this. And all the items can be found at the Dollar Tree. So let's pull up a seat to the table and let's get creating. Okay, so to get started on this spring Easter type sign, I am going to take, again, this burlap looking paper, which is one of my favorites between this and the birch. I just love this look. And I have here a sign from Christmas leftover that I never used. And so what I'm gonna do is make this on the back side so that I will still have this sign to use next year and I'll just reverse it for the two holidays. And I've taken off the um, top part that had the string to hang it up by, I've taken that off. And we're not gonna worry about the sticker that's on the back because the paper's gonna cover it. So we're gonna take our, again, one piece of 12 by 12 scrap of paper of your choice. And to measure this out in terms of getting it uh, straight and even, we're gonna use the edges of the paper and the edges of the sign and just line it right up. I'm gonna to choose to line it up with the top uh, of the sign because it's not long enough, as you may be able to tell, to cover the entire sign. So we will. I'm going to be covering that with ribbon down at the empty part. So we're just gonna measure along the side of the sign and the top of the sign. Now it's gonna hang over on the other side and we'll cut that off afterward, but for now we're going to just get this lined up by feeling along the edges or again, if you can see it, then line it up evenly. And if it hangs over a little bit, not a problem. We'll just tack that down when it comes time. So I feel like it's all lined up and it's gonna hang over a little bit on the um, two top corners because they are angled corners. And again, we'll worry about that afterwards. So that's lined up. Now we're going to take Mod Podge and secure this down. I always find um, two methods of this easier. You can pour it out onto a dish, which might be easier. Or for me, uh, oftentimes I like to be able to, just because I can feel where the opening is of the bottle, I'm going to dip my foam brush right inside there. Plus I don't end up wasting uh, Mod Podge on what I don't need. So holding the paper in place, and you will have a little bit of wiggle time to straighten this back out if you need to, but holding this kind of in place, I'm going to lift up and just secure a little bit down here by painting some of that on underneath so that I can get secure and I can reline my paper back up with the edge if I need to, and I do need to. So I'm gonna line that back up. And again, if you can see to do this, then it's a little bit, um, you won't have to finagle it quite as much. Okay, so we have our Mod Podge all done, the paper on there. Um, nice and adhered, and I ex actually took the extra step of placing a layer of Mod Podge over top of the paper as well. So you're just gonna paint that on just like you did the underside um, with a foam brush. That's what I find works best for the Mod Podge. And just put a layer of that completely over the top of it, and I just followed the edges of the, of the sign. And so now we're gonna cut off the excess um, paper that's hanging over the edge. So doing that, we're going to just kind of lift the sign a little bit and get your scissors, these are extremely sharp, so be very careful. And just, you know, just do it slow. It doesn't have to be fast. So we're gonna just trim off this extra paper by following right along the edge of the sign. And the good thing about Mod Podging on top is it makes it a little bit stiffer, firmer, and that makes it easier to work with as far as cutting. Um, you're able to get a little bit more stability with it, so that's always nice. Okay, so we got that trimmed off and we can always go back, um, which I probably will do, and like Mod Podge down these edges so they're not sticking up um, like that. So they, I'll, I'll go back and Mod Podge those down. So we've got the edges Mod Podged and now we're going to move on to putting some more Mod Podge on and putting on the moss. Now I know earlier I said about possibly putting ribbon on, but I changed my mind and I think I wanna put some moss on that will look uh, much more like grass and natural uh, natural ground for our carrots and eggs that will come on later. So we're just going to get some Mod Podge here, put down on the um, bottom part where the paper does not cover, and you can go up above um, 
up above that line too where there is paper and that that's totally fine um, and again you're going to end up with mod podge and things on your hands so we'll do a little bit at a time and i got to tell you guys this mod pod or this um moss makes a mess so just be prepared for that <laughs> um, so we're just going to like sprinkle it on and glue you know just kind of press down um, and that mod podge will hold just like a glue and you may have to you know, press a few more times and press a few more places and um, just kind of bunch it up on there, press down, get it in a wad more or less and just start pressing down and adding where you need to add. And we're gonna cover this whole empty space with Mod Podge and Moss. All right, while my Moss was drying and setting up on the sign, I decided that I wanted to try to make a bunny to go on my sign. I have been seeing so many of these um, signs at the Dollar Tree and whatnot that have the little bunnies in the truck or something like that, and their little butts are showing, and they're like kind of hanging out the back of the truck, and I just think that is so cute. So I'm gonna do a variation of that. Now I have these tools that are templates. Um, the one I'm using right now is round. It has an outer circle, but then there's a hole in the center like a donut would be that's missing. Um, there's a hole there so that you can cut either the larger circle or the inner smaller circle. I used to do a lot of scrapbooking and I got these tools uh, many, many years ago and they have these little blades that are a circle and you just flip the, the inside of it over and attach it to the lid and it's got a blade on there. And it also has two little feet that hook in to the track, whether you're cutting the inside or the outside of the circle. So I'm going to cut the inside because that's the only size um, that I need. I don't need a big one. And this is going to cut a perfect circle out of a white piece of scrapbook paper for my little bunny body. And let me pull that out of there. And for those who can see, there is a round circle for the bunny body. I'm going to set that aside. I also have here an oval shaped cutter but the same concept that has the outer and the inner uh, sizes and I'm going to use the inner part that will give me the bunny ears so if you have these tools this would be a really uh, fun project or if you're just that good that you can cut <laughs> trace and cut a circle in an oval then it would be great too but I am not where I can cut that well so there's one of our ears Set that aside, and I'm going to cut a second ear, because obviously bunnies have two ears. And this is going to be, um, they're gonna kind of overlap one another, and you'll get what I mean um, when I actually put them on the sign. So they look like two ears together. So, there is my second ear. So I'll set that aside, and then we're going to move on to getting these attached, because I also have a cotton uh, square that I'm gonna form into a tail for the bunny. Okay, so I've cut my little bunny butt and my little ears, and I actually took and folded the oval ears in half so they looked a little bit more like they were kind of tucked in, and as you can see, he's got his little, or for those who can't see, he looks like he's got his little head and face buried right in the moss and in the grass, like he's just digging for those carrots, and we will be putting carrots on um, but it just thought this was so cute to have him looking like he was just digging right in that moss and trying to find those carrots. So I am going to put on a little cotton tail. Unfortunately, I did not have any cotton balls um, to make this. And so I had to improvise and use a cotton square and kind of ball it up onto making a little tail. Um, you just kind of wad it and fold it and ball it up to make a little, a little cotton tail. So with doing that, I will, I have already plugged in my glue gun. And since that is the side that's got the little folded up edges, we're gonna put the glue on that. And I know some of you may not be comfortable using a glue gun and that's okay. You probably could go ahead and use um, glue dots and get away with um, sticking it on with those but I am pretty okay using a glue gun because I just I'd really catch it at the tip um, as much as possible and just
feel where that glue goes. So I'm going to stick this on and we'll wad it back up. He's gonna have a nice big full cotton ball tail. And that is, I think one of my favorite parts of the bunny and that's this little fluffy tail. We used to have bunnies as pets and unfortunately they passed away last year but they were so adorable they were cute little brown ones they looked like caramel colored ones and they were so cute they could sit in your pretty much in your hand they were adorable okay there is our little bunny tail sticking out of the moss and him looking like he's just digging away for those carrots so we'll be back in just a second and i'll show you how to put on those those carrots. Okay. Now I did some adjusting on our bunny ears because my daughter said that they looked like they kind of were off in outer space somewhere too far away from the bunny's body so I readjusted those to make it look a little closer. So now we're going to put on our carrots and we have three um, faux carrots here that came from the Dollar Tree. They come in a pack of four but we're only going to use three on this project. I like things in odd numbers like threes, fives, um, stuff like that. So we're going to use just the three of them and we're going to stick them on and yeah, kind of in random order according to where our little bunny is where it looks like he's trying to dig for some of those carrots. And we'll take the glue gun and I can feel where that carrot is so I'm just going to kind of go underneath of it and stick that down. That might be a little bit off, but I can go back and fix and put more glue where there's needed. We just want to get that down to start with. Okay, so for the final step to our spring sign, I am going to spell out the words Diggin' Spring. And for those who you can see, you can um, see I have the words spelled out sitting there all ready to go, and that's how I can better uh, figure out how to put the letters on and those are very very tiny letters so um, I'll be having to work very delicately with those. I did uh, was able to feel those letters to pull them out of the stash but I did have my daughter um, help me make sure that those were the right letters in fact because I don't want to ruin this project with having misspelled words on it. So we are going to take those letters and we'll transfer them on to our sign. Okay, so we have on our letters, and they spell out Diggin Spring, and I left off the G on digging, it's Diggin, with the little apostrophe there. To complete this, I'm going to take this little daisy, or at least that's what it seems like to me, it's a daisy. And I'm also going to take this little button, and I'm going to put it in the center of that flower, and I think I'm going to do that first, that will make it easier. Okay, we're going to put this daisy right up in here where there's that little blank space and I like to have the flower kind of hanging off the side um, making it a little more three-dimensional I just I like that look and I think it makes it give a little bit more character so it looks like our sign is done for digging spring and our little bunny digging in the moss trying to get those carrots even though they're right on top so I will put this up where I'm going to uh, put it for my decor. It won't be completed because I have to do more stuff to my mantle, but I'll put it up there for you guys to see the finished product. Here's our cute little bunny sign all done and ready for spring, which I am ready for spring as well. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you get a chance to make this. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to hit that like button. Give it a thumbs up. Help me to grow this channel and this community. And don't forget, no matter how many things we create, that there is only one creator. See you next time. Bye.